Okay, so we added this gate here onto our between our backyard and our front yard area on the side of our house here. And as you can see, um, as we mentioned earlier, there is going to be a gap if you're doing a gate on an incline. And you don't want to have to level the ground out, spend time and money to bring in a, a bunch of dirt to level it out or equipment. Um, you can just leave it as is. So a quick hack, quick D, simple DIY hack. As you can see, we added just a, a simple vinyl siding sheet there across the top to help cover it on the bottom side. So we'll we'll show you how it works in the up next uh, part of the video. But basically, that's just a quick DIY hack you can do is to add that piece of vinyl. And once it's down, um, it covers up that gap. So obviously, if this was a main gate like on a driveway or something, you'd want to spend the time, the money to level it out. But since this is just really to keep the animals from coming back and forth between the front and the backyard, um, that piece of vinyl works out just fine um, how it is. So just a quick DIY there. Um, give you a reason on why we didn't add dirt or have equipment to level it out. We'll be back. Okay, we just finished our install of this gate here for our um, perimeter fencing here that goes in between the outside perimeter and our porch. So we just added an additional perimeter here. As we explained before, we didn't want the animals to get into the backyard area and get back off into those woods back there. Um, so we don't plan on fencing that er those areas off. Um, so we just added this gate and this uh, kind of a perimeter in between here and here. Just simple wire fencing, T-post. Added one fence post so we can hang the gate onto. And as you can see, we've uh, had to add these couple of pieces of 2 by 4 to it to where the, uh, the hinge pokes through the fence post. If you use a thicker fence post, then obviously you don't have that problem. But to mitigate that, you can do something like this here. Um, and this fencing already has a wire mesh here, so we didn't have to add anything to it. Um, welded on there already. But we did have a huge gap, as I mentioned before. We're on a, on a pretty large incline, incline from our porch. As it goes down that way, it inclines pretty, pretty steeply. Um, so as, as we go to the other side, you'll get to see how big of a gap it is. But we did have a, extra pieces of vinyl siding um, available to use. We, Phaedra saved those when we first moved in. We didn't know if we were actually going to use them. We were going to throw them away at one time, but it's a good thing uh, she got us to save it because it come in handy for a lot of things. If you've seen other videos, we laid them across our the, across our garage entrances because it's kind of dusty there, the dirt, and uh, chickens like to dig, so we put it over that to keep it from digging into the, those areas, from digging out our driveway. And we also use it for different things like this, for our dog pens, and, and to cover this gap here, we just took a piece of vinyl siding to cover it. Something simple, something more visual. Uh, structurally, um, the dogs probably still push under it, but it's just more of a visual to show it's not a point to pass. So we're just hoping that'll work. Um, you know, they're, they're not, they don't stay out here 24-7, the dogs don't. And chickens and turkeys, that should work for them just fine. So um, just to show you how it works here, um, you know, we just have a simple carabiner in the chain. So we don't need nothing super stiff, just enough pressure to keep it from swinging open. So I'm going to try to do this one-handed here. There we go. And as the idea as it opens up is that the vinyl siding will move with it. And we put a little piece of brick here behind it just to give, give more pressure from swinging in, in the wind. When the wind blows, it's not swinging back and opening up. So we do have a piece of brick there. Over here on the end here is more on the ground, so we don't have that problem. And it shouldn't swing this way because it's already behind the... Uh, it shouldn't swing this direction because it's already has a T-post there. And um, this one is still hitting the dirt there as well. So, so, it, so just pushing it open, see how it just moves along. Now we do have the piping for our drainage that goes, so we, we have to move that when we want to ride through here, but just walking through here we don't have to. So the idea behind this is just having a couple of simple tie wraps to those openings in the vinyl. You just lift up on it if you want it to, and the gate just opens freely without scraping the ground. You can open all the way up and just let it back down, let it sit down like that. 
and you're able to access through here with the lawnmower, the side by side. Of course, you we would have to move that pipe. We've been having to do that anyways. But um, just be able to access through here. And originally, we thought about adding the wire fencing, cut a piece, and add it to the, adding it to the bottom of the gate. But um, it would just be a little bit harder to work with than this piece of vinyl siding. It would probably bend a lot over time. And this piece of vinyl siding um, will last quite a while. And when it wears out, we have several more pieces we can replace it with. Just simple. And then also we can go to the store and replace it eventually if we need to. They're not extremely expensive. So to close it back up, you just lift it back up like that. And easily close it back up. No scraping of the ground. You let it drop down there to get it in front of the brick. Like this. Put it back in front of that brick. And it's closed. See there, and it covers up the gap. So we'll show you the gap on the other side here. Hope you get to see it already. Close it back up like it was closed. And anyone who had put gates on inclines obviously you have this problem of huge gaps in some cases and this one is a very huge one the biggest one we've had so far because of the amount of incline we have so how do you cover that gap right without having leveling it out adding dirt um, we didn't want to have to go through all that trouble so just for this purpose it's, this will serve just fine we believe so just adding that piece of vinyl to cover that big gap there um, just to show a visual that the animal for the animals that it's not an area to pass so so the animals have been they've gotten used to seeing fencing and it's kind of like they know that's a barrier so this is kind of an, um, something they're used to already so they're already kind of trained kind of trained in a way to know that's not an area they, they will be passing so they they haven't had to try jump over our perimeter so far so hopefully that'll continue um and they mostly stay in our yard we haven't had them get out yet so so i hope y'all enjoyed this video i hope that helped you out um just if you want to look into if you're looking to try to solve the same issues of you know keeping your animals within your main yard wherever you want to pin them off and getting not getting in areas that you don't want them getting into then we hope this helps you out and give you some idea and also for you know gates on incline if you have that problem as well this, this gives you another idea of, of how to do it um, we didn't want to have to add like i said go through the extra trouble adding dirt we also didn't want to add cinder blocks across it and having to constantly having to move those um, you know cinder blocks out of the way um, it's just a just a hassle so the, hopefully this gives those of you all out there some more ideas um, and hope you enjoy like subscribe and share and y'all have a sunshiny day Bye-bye.